If you were making a film about bees taking over the world, this might be how the opening scene would look. But honeybees like these could soon be helping to make the world a safer place. Scientists at Sentinel in Harpenden near Luton want to use bees' highly developed sense of smell to sniff for explosives. We first expose them to, say, TNT smell. At that moment, you touch the antenna of honeybee with some sugar water. Then, as a reflex, they stick out their tongue because they think, ah, in front of me is sugar water. And when the bees detect the presence of explosive, they stick out their tongue. And that response of tongue sticking out will then be translated into a signal that our LCD display will display. They're still carrying out tests to demonstrate its effectiveness, but Mr Hu has been in talks with companies that handle the security of freight at Heathrow Airport. Just like docks are trained by policemen to detect explosives in the airports, we do the same with bees, but faster and much more cost effective. The number of wild bees in Britain has been in decline. Robin Dartington runs the Buzzworks Community Bee Garden in Hitchin. He's welcomed this new use for the insects. Everything that bees does for mankind will help mankind do things back for bees. And bees at the moment do have very severe problems in the wild. And we do need a lot of people giving them help. Some people might um, think that it looks cruel to the bees. The condition of bees is the ultimate factor of whether our detector is working. If animals are feeling uncomfortable, they won't serve well as a sensor. As part of a hive, these worker bees would hunt tirelessly for pollen. In the detector, they'd sniff for two days before being set free. So it's really just a very short secondment. Stuart Leaths, ITV News, Harpenden.